You roll the ball. No. You want to give it to me, okay. I have decided every six months I was going to share with you the development of my daughter who has Down syndrome, her growth, her milestones, what she's accomplished, how we've done it, and what we're up to now. My name is Leilani, and this is our channel, Living with Eve. Consider subscribing so you can journey with us as you raise your exceptional child, too. My daughter is now three years old. When she was last tested, she was developmentally at a 15-month-year-old. But that's just a test. Regardless, she has a ton of personality, play, and joy. In fact, one of her favorite things to play with is Legos. Duplos, to be more specific. She sits in the box and she likes to throw them across the room until the Legos are all out of the box. She is walking. She's also running and she's very, very, very fast. She also loves to dance and pretend sing with her sister. However, when she runs and walks and dances, she does move with a very wide stance with her hips and her legs, which is not very good for her. So I am continuing to work on that with our PT. Now, I did mention in a video a couple months ago that she graduated from PT, which was kind of exciting. Today, Naomi graduated from physical therapy. Yay! But that was because of her defiance. Okay, so the reality is, is that she screams, blows a temper tantrum, folds herself into a taco, and refuses to walk. And being who I am, I really knew there were some issues there and I wanted to continue working on them. So I chose to seek out another physical therapist. And we got two. <laughs> we got one for the water. And one for the land. She loves the water. Not so much the land. PT's hard work, guys. I don't expect her to love it but she's warming up to it. We are continuing to wear her braces because if she doesn't wear her braces, her feet will actually roll in, which is once again, not very good for her. So we're continuing to wear those braces. In physical therapy, they're continuing to work on her core muscles to help her with her balance and also move those legs in, building those muscles as well. The aqua therapist or the water therapist is actually having her wear those hip huggers during the sessions to just bring those legs together while the land therapist is just working on strengthening those muscles. With her fine motor skills, she is still doing the palm grasp. We haven't got the pincher grasp as often, but it's there just not as consistent as we want. She's pushing buttons. Can you help me in the kitchen, Miss Naomi? Yeah. Come on, come help. Can you come push this? Push it. Push. All right, can you push the button? Push the button. This button. Push, push, push. She's switching things on and off. She's twisting. She's even putting her clothes on, or at least trying to, or putting her sister's clothes on. <laughs> She's putting clothes on her head, wherever she feels like putting them. She's also helping doing the laundry, which is so super cute. She loves doing chores. She helps put away her dishes. She helps put dishes in the sink. She throws things away, she puts things away, she cleans up. I have a three-year-old that likes to do chores, which is pretty typical from what I understand and what I've been told about Down syndrome is they do tend to fixate on certain things and she likes to clean, so it's a blessing. We're also working on her feeding, which is kind of a big deal. First of all, the spoon. She has a tendency when she does the spoon just to kind of dump it in her lap because she doesn't know how to twist her wrist yet. So I got these spoons that bend to the side and hopefully now when she scoops, she can make it into her mouth without it spilling and, and we're working on this. I also still puree her food and I felt really bad about this for a while but then her occupational therapist informed me <laughs> that the back muscles right here are used for grinding and they're the last to develop and she that's why she's struggling with grinding that meat and that's why it's taking her like an hour and a half to eat more solid foods. Now she can eat those crunchy foods like the carrots and the green beans and the celery and she does that very well. Her communication is coming along she does attend speech therapy twice a week for half an hour sessions. She understands almost everything, but she doesn't really speak. 
as much as she should. She's got some words down like that. That. And what? And why? Naomi, what do you want? That. No. What? But she still tends to grunt and scream and point and use sign language to get my attention. One of the things that we're working on is having her use her sounds or words that sound similar to the object and really just kind of fight with her in order to do that. We need her to say banana. She's got to say something like banana. She does use her signs, like I said. She does do her more please and a lot of pointing. I've also been told to work a lot on the animal sounds, any animal sounds with her just to get some kind of sound out of her. Part of the problem is that her sister talks for her. They have like their own little language. There are so many times that sister comes up and says, Naomi wants this. How does she know that Naomi wants that? But she knows. Where's your sister? Boo, right my here. Her and her sister are best friends. I even made a video, it's really cute. It's right there if you wanna check it out. She hasn't quite figured out how to brush her teeth, but I do help her on this. I do have to hold her head, and I do have to brush her teeth for her. I do give her a vibrating toothbrush because I was told that the vibrating toothbrushes really work on just developing the sensory that's happening in here. So she does that on her own. She's in control of that, why I do the regular toothbrush. Her sense of play is exploratory. She gets into absolutely everything. She plays phone, she gets into the cabinets, she even tries to close them, and oh, I have to mention this, if she wants to do something, she's very independent, and she wants to do it on her own with no help. Can I help you? <coughs> okay, Miss Independent. We are starting potty training, very slowly. I'm not expecting her to get the potty training right away and I'm not forcing her, but after a diaper change, especially in the mornings and at nights, I will sit her on her little toilet and let her try it out. She has not yet gone to the bathroom in her toilet and I'm not pushing it, but I'm making sure she understands what the word pee is. So that when I sit her on the toilet and I cue her, she knows that's what I'm talking about. So that about sums up what we've been up to. If you have not seen her growth and develop in milestones when she was two and a half years old, I'm gonna stick that video here. Of course she's three now, and when she's three and a half, I'm gonna go ahead and stick a video right there when I get that up. And of course, I'll stick a favorite fun one right up in that corner. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in our next video. Until then.